We went along to Leaven Community Cinema and spoke to Charlie, the projectionist. Do you show films? Seven, seven days, days a week, yes. Aye. What's the so we had quite a few people coming as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gosh, and do you do afternoon showings and stuff like that? We do when the kids are on holiday. Right, right. Yeah. Oh. And tonight we have uh, due date, and tomorrow we got on uh, Stoppable, and we have Tinkerbell for the matinee. So it's all the latest movies you have to. Yes. How? How? I mean, uh, this is maybe very nosy, but how do you afford to show all these latest movies when you're up against the multiplexes? Because the volunteers. Ah, right. Except me. Right. You're the professional. Yes. <laughs> Everybody else here is a volunteer, except right. the uh, projection staff. So I worked really? in here when I was uh, getting all done and everything. I worked with the other guys. We we actually done all this place. You were a volunteer. Aye. All right. We done a Saturday and Sunday every time we were doing here. Wow. Oh. We done all this place. We actually got it right out. Oh my God! It's cool. It's quite a big screen. Two hundred and fifty people. Two hundred and fifty people. Wow. It's a big screen. That's fantastic. We did very well with Harry Potter. Um, Will we ever get to show it here again, Mike? No. 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 There's not much point in them bringing it back because everyone will have seen it. And they'll buy it on DVD yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah. The big releases will be open with the big releases, but other times we show uh, two films a week, well, actually three films a week. So in the course of a month, you will have seen everything that's come out of the multiplex. Because we'll have it here. That's but amazing. we give uh, variety by having two films on in a week. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> we draw more people than what we would if you had the same film on. Right. Because when with us being single screen, like we put Harry Potter on, we have to run it for two weeks. Right. Right. <clears throat> and there's no way you could afford to run every film for two weeks. Mm. No. Yeah. But you've got new sound systems in now, I believe. Is that yes. Right? Yes. Yes. It's vastly improved. Is it original projectors? No. Mm. No. Is it all digital now? Is it? No. No? No, still 35. Good. Uh-huh. Yep. I'll take you back. I'll give you a look behind the scenes. I'm sure I've been in here when I was green when I did it. Wow. Charlie took us backstage. We were able to stand behind the screen. But we found out something very surprising. It has to be perforated in order to get the sound. If it wasn't perforated, you wouldn't have the sound quality. We were able to look right through the screen from the other side because it's covered in little holes to let the sound through. Just amplifiers or PA. No, the JBL, the special cinema speakers. You just can't use ordinary. Right. Uh, yeah. We have uh, four speakers back here. You've got left, you've got right, you've got centre. Oh. And you've got high frequency on top. And right there to your left, you've got the big subwoofers. Originally, this cinema was built silent. I believe it's 1937 when they had sound. <laughs> So from 1922 to 1937, it was silent. And then it's when sound started coming out. You see these curtains on the side, right? There's windows behind there. And there's windows all the way along. And they used to, every day, every day they used to open the windows to the cinema. But, but they also used to open the windows to let daylight in, uh -huh. right? And that's how they used to clean the cinemas. You used to open the window and let the daylight in. Of course. But the curtains were put there when sound came out. That's when they started putting the curtains up there to take away the... <laughs> but we're going to put some acoustic tiling up to make it even better, to reduce the echo even more. But these, there's not many places left like this, but they weren't built with sound in mind. So it's been quite a feat to get uh, good sound in here, but now we have very good sound in here. Mm. <clears throat> it's just great to get a tour behind the cinema. This is brilliant. You're mm. welcome.
We were then taken upstairs for a very special viewing. Uh, first two, follow me up. Yeah, this is my kingdom, this is my home. This is your home? Is that? Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. Film arrives, feels like this. So we join them all together, and you get a full reel. Eh? Like How this. long does it take to fold them all together? It takes me about an hour. No. Depending on the condition of the film. Word. Sometimes longer. And my birds arrive like this. Like this. Right, this is how my birds arrive. And we join them together. And you have a reel like this. There you go. Yes. And this is about, this here is about 10 minutes of my birds. Fantastic. And in order for the film to be projected, it has to stop. And it stops 24 times a second. Because you can't project the moving image. That's right. And that is the soundtrack. And that is the picture. And over here, we have the projector. And if you want to think about becoming a projectionist, this is the manual. And you have to know it back to front. And it takes about two years. Yes. And then, then you're only just beginning. And what do you do with the films after you finish with them? They get sent back. They get sent back. Well, yeah. see, the Harry Potter already got been sent yeah. back. Yes, it's Toy awesome. Story and everything. And say, say an accident happens and it gets torn or ripped or something, do they charge you for the repair of it? Or? No, well, no, I do that myself. All right. Yeah, I do that. What happens is a film right stops in the middle, right? Automatically just cuts out, right? And doesn't start. What do you actually do? Like, do you just. I fix the problem and it starts. It. <laughs> and if I can't fix it straight away, I can rewind the film. I can take the film out of the projector and rewind it on the tablet. And this is the projector over here. This is the sound. This is the sound processor. And these are the amplifiers. This is the and that's the projector picture. Yeah. How many pictures come in a week? We're showing four. Well, we've got two, three films on this week. So. And is this an, an air cooler system? It's a fan that takes out the the heat because they run very hot. Because in the old days, that's what caused an awful lot of fires in cinemas, isn't it? Projectors no, just no, no, no. no. Film was nitrate. Is that what it was? Right? Yeah. And the slightest spark and yes, um, yeah, so no film. Film is nitrate. Now film is safety film. Now you can pull a London bus with this film. It's very very strong. Yeah, if you've been doing this for forty two years. Where did you start? I started in Liverpool. Right. And I was I was indented apprentice for Odeon Cinemas. Then I went to work to sea. I was a projectionist on a cruise ship. Really five years and then I worked in the United States for 26 years. Well, what do you think of your trip so far then, yeah, guys? It's quite nice. Ah, yeah. interesting, <laughs> interesting up at the projection box, was it? Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. The connect hardware up to the actual film, to make it a big... Real. Real. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It stops for 24 hours and then goes back on again for 93 minutes. Does it? Uh -huh. Wow. All just one big continuous. Mm -hmm. To end the perfect visit, we settled down in the balcony to watch the new film, Unstoppable.